All right, I'm here with Rodney Michael and Saeed Conte of the UCSB men's soccer team. Rodney, Saeed, welcome to uh, the show, and I'm glad to have you guys here. And this is a big week for you guys. You're facing Cal Poly at the end of the week, and it's been a really tough season in many ways. And starting 1-2-1, one, and one, that was the worst start by a UCSB team ever since returning to the Big West in 2001. What made you guys say to each other, we can't be those guys? Uh, well, first of all, I think the main thing is that we're hosting the College Cup this year, and we want at the start of the season we're we're hoping to be a part of that game, a part of the Final Four. So at that point where we were one, two, and one, and like everything was turning around on us, like we weren't expecting that. So we looked, we talked to ourselves in the locker room, and we're like, all right, come on, like we have good players, and we just piss, we just piss away games. So we talked to ourselves, and we're like. We gotta, we gotta step it up. Everyone has to focus this like, like every game now because we can't afford to lose any more games. So I think it's just the motivation to not end our season right now and hopefully get a chance to play in front of like 15, 16 people here. I think that's that motivated us to start winning, and I think it's shown over the past couple of games we've done really well, and everyone's working for each other and working for the team. And after that start to the season, you go to Irvine. You go down 2 nothing, and then all of a sudden after the hour mark, it turns around, you guys are able to get the 2-2 draw in that match. That was, in many ways, what seemed like the turning point of the season because you're finally able to get a result on the road. And how did you guys feel after that match? Well, we, we felt great after the game, but the most important thing was the fact that we were able to get out with one point. We wanted to win, but uh, having gone down 2-0 during the game, and uh, at that point... In time, we just like this can't be the end of our season. We talked about it amongst ourselves during the on the field, and uh, so at that time, everyone just stepped up a little bit, which gives us the extra energy and like willingness to play for each other because we knew like if if we lose that game, then that would have been the end, pretty much the end of our season. So we needed to do something entertaining, something to get our season back, something. To, to play for so uh, and b hosting the the tournament itself put a lot of pressure on us and knowing that the game against Irvine was going to be the end of our season we just can't let that happen so everyone just step up big time and at the end we got the tie but we were pushing for the win and you talked about pressure there Rodney you had an amazing freshman campaign last year did you feel a lot of pressure this year to come back and deliver those same results uh no not really because <laughs> no yeah because i mean the main part of me is not like what i do individually as long as the team wins then i'm happy so regardless of if i'm scoring as much goals as last year regardless of if, if i'm if i'm getting as much assists it doesn't matter to me i just go out there and play the way i always play and if i do get a goal to help the team win then i'm satisfied with that as long as we win so I didn't really feel much pressure. I mean, I want to do well, so I always put that pressure on myself to do well, to do better than I did the previous game. So, yeah. It was. And part of the reason why I have both of you together is because you share that connection from Freetown, Sierra Leone, and you guys have known each other for a long time since you were 11 years old. So tell me a little bit about that and what it's like to be reunited after playing at Dunn School and after, of course, it was your senior year, then you decided to come here, but you were at LMU for a year, at Loyola Marymount, and then you decided to transfer here. Making those steps along the way where you're together and then you're not together anymore, and then you go to Dunn School, you're together again, and then there's that gap year again, and you're here one more time. Well, <laughs> first off, uh, having played in Africa together, we sort of have the connection of like knowing each other very well on and off the field. We're very good friends and uh, so coming to Dunn and uh, playing together again after a few years apart it was uh, in the beginning it was it was a bit weird because I hadn't played with him in two years but uh, at the same time when he came over and we started training the first week or so it was a bit rough but then we clicked again and uh, we uh, we had another partner as well uh, uh, called Dennis so the three of us, we've known each other very, very long time. Dennis and I actually played. We've, I've known Dennis longer than I've known Rodney. So the relationship between the three of us was very strong, and we were able to play. But the 
the few years that we didn't spend together was was weird. I I'll say like being on the same field again on the same team it was for me it was weird at least. How do you feel about it, Roddy? Uh, I was happy. I, obviously, I was happy he came to UCSB. So I'd have someone that I've known for a while, for a really long time. I'd have someone around, someone to talk to, someone to play with, have fun with, like on the field and off the field. So I was pretty excited for that. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you guys didn't play with each other in Africa, you played against each other at some points. Is that right? Who won? <laughs> yeah, my, my team mind. won. <laughs> <laughs> He's just lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least at least you guys play together now. That's the yeah. best part for all the UCSB fans out there. Yeah. So you're a Manchester United fan. I am a Manchester United fan. Say so you're a Liverpool fan. Yes, I am a Liverpool fan. Does that get tense? <laughs> yes, I'll say so uh, because I'm like the biggest Liverpool supporter ever, and uh, most of the time it's when we're playing Man U against Liverpool is when the the intensity like comes out. When we're playing against other teams, it doesn't really matter because we like it's just Liverpool playing against Arsenal for say. But when we play Man U, sometimes we get very, very passionate, very intense. And uh, doing when we we try to watch the games together as well. Say if Man U scored, all uh, he will try to like do something silly to me, or if Liverpool score, I'll try to do something silly to him as well. Yeah, that's always one of the fiercest rivalries in world football. I can't imagine yeah, being yeah. friends and then having that yeah. between you. I've, I'm friends with a couple of Real Madrid fans. I'm an Atletico Madrid fan, so it's <laughs> it's uh, it's tough sometimes. Yeah. But with that, uh, you guys as well, you guys play FIFA with those teams, I'm sure. So <laughs> <laughs> who wins those games? I do. No. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Well, let's move this uh, conversation a little bit to idols for you guys. Um, Obviously, in Africa, the sport has grown so much. And within the country of Sierra Leone, there's players like Kai Kamara who have made a name for themselves in the U.S. How important is that for you guys to have someone you can look up to here in the United States? Uh, I think that's very important. Like Anything you do in life, you you got to have someone that you look up to. And as for me personally, I look up to Kai Kamara. Uh, he's a player that came came over from Sierra Leone has done really well for himself and has like, put Sierra Leone on the map, I'd say. So, yeah, he's done pretty well in the MLS, won a lot of awards, played on a lot of teams. So that's just a successful story of someone that came from Africa and made it in America. So that it's my dream to play professional soccer. And to look up to someone with that, it's pretty, like, because I, I know him too personally. So sometimes I talk to him and he advises me, he's like, just Keep, stay humble, keep yourself, keep your head down and know what you're doing, know where you want to go and also know where you come from. And that's pretty obvious with him. He helps Sierra Leone a lot and he tries to help everyone that's around him. So he's a good role model, a good person to look up to. And I'm happy that I know him. Yeah, having, I'll say having Kai as a role model is huge because we, uh, we know he's, he came from nothing and for him to like make it big for himself and his family is huge. And uh, most of us came from nothing as well. So looking up to him make us feel like we could achieve anything in life that we wanted to if we put the energy and work way right into it. So it's big time. And Kai is just one of many people that we look up to that uh, in the footballing world in, from Sierra Leone. We've got the likes of uh, uh, Mohamed Kalon, uh, Rodney Strasser as well. Those are also big names that kids from Sierra Leone look up to as well. And you both want to be professional players after you're done with UCSB. So a lot of players nowadays, they're not going the college soccer route, which is interesting because both of you are, are so good on this stage and you do have those prospects of going pro afterwards. What made you guys say that college soccer is the right decision for me? Uh... For me, I wanted to, school's always been important to me, so I wanted to be able to get as much education done as possible. And also I want to develop my soccer skills. So if I could come here, play for a, a couple of years, get a good education, and then hopefully look to go professional, then I think that's the best option for me because I get the best of both worlds. For me, uh, I know like soccer isn't going to always be there for me because uh, at some point in life you're gonna have to retire and in life you're gonna have so you need something to look back to something that will sustain you and your family and 
the best way f for me is education. The education part is always going to be with us wherever we go at w whatever age. So, and soccer, we could always pursue soccer. Like we're still playing, we're still playing the sport, and we're getting a quality education as well. So, for me to win-win in both sides, when we get to pursue soccer and get a quality education as well for the future. So part of the reason why you're the top goal scorer on the team is because of that man over there, two assists to you throughout this year, St. John's and, of course, last game against Cal State Northridge. Is it more your goal scoring ability or is it his assist? <laughs> <laughs> It's a tough question. Depends on who. <laughs> depends on who you ask. <laughs> but no, it's a. That's why. That's why I've got you. <laughs> it's a combined effort. Like if he doesn't play the ball, then I don't score. And if he plays a good one, I don't score. Then he doesn't get the assist. So. That's humble. That's yeah. humble right there from Rodney. <laughs> it's a combined effort, and we both just try to do our best to do what we're supposed to do on the field. I'm supposed to pass. I'm supposed to score. We try to do that. See, you're not going to say it's your assist? Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll say 100%. Like Rodney <laughs> said, it's uh, a combined effort. Uh, I'm here to do my job as a midfielder. It's my job to uh, get into tackles, win the ball, and provide assists if necessary. And his job as a forward is to make sure the ball goes into the back of the net. And uh, for me, it's a win-win as long as the team is winning and we're getting the, point, the necessary point that we need. And... Uh, we're moving forward. I'm happy. I'm sure. I know he's happy because he's always bragging about it. But yeah. So the College Cup is being hosted here, of course. The Big West tournament right around the corner. You have to keep winning there to get into the big show, of course. So for you guys, I talked about pressure earlier and expectations and all of that sort of things that that comes around being part of this program. But last year, the disappointment compared to the track that you're on this year to hopefully get in and, and be able to advance to at least the final and potentially if you even lose that you have a good RPI you can make your way in with a seed there potentially Th that's better prospects than last year for sure and how badly do you guys want to get to that stage and be able to showcase yourself on that level uh, I, we I think everyone on the team really really wants to get there because I you could see in the last couple of games where it's like win or go home I, ev I everyone's working everyone's putting in all the work to win and try to keep playing because no one wants their season to end in November because then you don't have anything to look forward to. But if we keep winning, keep going to practice every day, trying to get better, and then we have something to look forward to. And, yeah, it's really motivating for the guys, especially now that it's actually came down to it because at the start of the season, we we have a good team, but we, we just drop points uh, against teams that we shouldn't lose to and – at the start of the season, you could see that because the College Cup wasn't so close. Like, if we lost the game, like everyone was fine with it. But now, like we can't afford to lose, so everyone's really determined to win. So, yeah. And also, we know like how much energy, time, and money has been put into the program. The coaching staff has been—they've been amazing in supporting us financially with everything that we need and. To have like a disappointing year again. Last year was very disappointing for not only the supporters but for us as, as well on the team, and we couldn't let that happen. So that's why we, uh, we as a team, we're gonna like put our best effort in and try as much as possible to uh, bring some some sort of happiness to the fans and to the program as well. Because UCSB is one of the best programs in the country, and the amount of time and energy put into making sure everything works for us as a student athlete, it's massive. And the only way we could repay the coaching staff, the supporters that comes to our game, the ones that are tuning in to stream the games, is by us getting results and by making the College Cup run. So that's the biggest thing for me that keeps me going every game. Cal Poly, such a big game around the corner. You saw the attendance that they had at the Alex Spano Stadium up in Slow, and you know that every year this is a candidate for one of the top attended games in NCAA college soccer. What do you have to say to the fans to come out to the game on Saturday at 5 o'clock? Well, why should they come? Uh, they should come to hopefully see us win. Uh, we're going to try to put out a good performance out there because the past couple of games that we've played here against Cal Poly, it's ended in a 0-0 draw, but this year we're not going to let that happen. We're going to try to score as many goals as we can 
and win the game. So it'll be good to get a an amazing atmosphere here, get the boys going, get the boys pumped, and hopefully that'll be a foreshadow of what the College Cup might bring. Yeah, and that also he helps us as players uh, just to have a lot of people at the game because especially games like this, the rivalry is very big. And uh, having a lot of people come to the game means a lot to us and the coaching staff and everyone that is involved with the UCSB men's soccer team. So, like Rodney mentioned, we're going to put on the best performance that we as best as possible as we could and to get try to get the results and the f the last few years has been quite disappointing uh, that ends in ties so hopefully we will show up 110% ready to go and we we'll get the results you guys have both had amazing seasons so far this year who do you guys have to thank for your performances on the field so far i'll say the coaching staff and our teammates for me at least because uh Having to adapt to a new position this year, my teammate has helped me a lot just with the communication part and the coaching staff. They've been working really, really hard so that I understand the position very well so I could perform best. And towards the end of the season, it's really pain, uh, panning out now when I'm doing the job they're asking me to do and uh, we're getting the result that we need. So. Yeah, I'd also say the coaching staff and the teammates because it's soccer, it's a collective effort. So without the without your teammates, you're pretty much nothing. And the coaching staff, they do the game analysis, figure out what, what works best and where every player is at their best, and they put us out there. And all the goals and assists, there is the, it's a result of what they do in the behind the scenes. So I'm thankful for them thankful for the teammates and hopefully we'll continue to win and get into the tournament. Well, it's been a great rebound from the beginning of the season for you guys and thank you guys for taking the time to join me and hopefully you're able to get a result against Cal Poly this weekend. That'll be huge for you guys heading into the Big West tournament. So Roddy Michael Said Conte of the UCSB men's soccer team, thank you again for joining me and you can watch all of our content at KCSB Sports on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and our YouTube page, all KCSB Sports. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again. Thank you. Thank you.